Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here, back with another video. Guys, today I want to talk about the Constantinople difficulty bomb delay and block reward adjustment. This is the EIP 1234. EIP stands for Ethereum Improvement Proposal. So this is an upgrade, an update that they're planning on the Constantinople hard fork that's happening in about 5 days and 17 hours as of making this video. But I want to dive into this upgrade, why I think that it's, it's going to raise the price of the Ethereum. And in similar in similar fashions in the past you guys know with litecoin and bitcoin they've had the having where the block rewards were were cut in half and bitcoin and litecoin they've had history of when i'm sure you guys know when when they've had their their block rewards halved the price went up and generally substantially as well so I'm going to talk about first what the EIP 1234 entails and then I'll go into the the history and what's going to happen in my opinion in the next 5 6 days when this hard fork comes out and the price as well. Okay, so the EIP 1234. Basically, here's the summary. The average block times are increasing due to the difficulty bomb also known as Ice Age, slowly accelerating. This EIP proposes to delay the difficulty bomb for approximately 12 months and reduce the block rewards with the Constantinople fork, the second part of Metropolis fork, okay, so which already happened. So you guys know I made a video about the Ethereum difficulty bomb being activated and as you know, the block times have gone up so it's around 20, 22 seconds now, and everyone's getting less Ethereum. So the difficulty bomb is activated. Now, with this hard fork, it's going to implement a delay, a delay to the difficulty bomb. Okay, so here we go. Starting with the, this is the programming code, the client will calculate the difficulty based on a fake block number, suggesting the client that the difficulty bomb is adjusting around 5 million blocks later than previously specified with the Homestead fork. Furthermore, block rewards will be adjusted to a base of 2 Ethereum. Uncle and nephew rewards will be adjusted accordingly. So as you guys know right now, if you're mining Ethereum, every block that's happening right now, 20, 22 seconds, everyone's getting a reward of 3 Ethereum, which is then spread out to all the miners and all the pools. Motivation. The Casper development and switch to proof of stake is delayed. The ETHash proof of work should be feasible for miners and allowing sealing new, allow sealing new blocks every 15 seconds on average for another 12 months. Okay, so the block reward, the block timings will go back down to 15 seconds, just like before. With the delay of the Ice Age, there is a there is a desire to not suddenly also increase minor rewards. The difficulty bomb has known has been known for about a long time now, and it's going to stop, and it's going to stop from happening. In order to maintain stability of the system, a block reward reduction that offsets the Ice Age delay would leave the system in a in the same general state as before. Reducing the reward also decreases the likelihood of a miner driven chain split as Ethereum approaches proof of stake. So another 12 months from now, the delay uh, difficulty bomb will activate again, thus making the uh, block times go up and everyone would get even less Ethereum rewards. So Ethereum developers, the whole Ethereum project, has another 12 months to develop and work on proof of stake, which they are wanting to in, to implement in the next 12 months after this hard fork. So after that, guys, think of it. If they do come up a way, come up with a way to have the proof of stake be fully implemented and kick out the proof of stake proof of work. Uh, algorithm, ETH hash, and potentially ProgPow. 
mining Ethereum will be gone. But in my opinion, I don't think that's going to happen. There's also been talk about hybrid proof of stake where there's also going to be mining as well as well as proof of stake. So I'm not sure how that all how all that's going to happen, but we don't know from 12 months from now. That's just that's just the uh, rumors. So um, rationale: this ice delay this this will delay the ice age by about by 29 million seconds. So approximately 12 months. So the chain will be back at 30 second block times in winter 2019. An alternate proposal was to add special rules to difficulty calculation to effectively pause the difficulty between different blocks. This would lead to similar results. Um, backwards compatibility, yada yada yada. Okay. So on to the next part, guys, that I want to talk about uh, is basically uh, price as well as hash rate and all that kind of stuff. So in history, we know that Ethereum with the, I mean, in history with Litecoin and Bitcoin, with when they've had their halvings, they've had the price increase. So I'm not sure if that's going to happen with Ethereum, but I believe in my opinion that it is that the same thing is going to happen in around five or six days that when the rewards are reduced from three to two ethereum everyone will be getting even less ethereum so as you guys can see here in the past seven days the price has has generally gone up has gone up around 20 percent um litecoin has also gone up apparently 21 percent but apparently that was maybe some kind of rumor going around in china that Chinese, the Chinese were buying up Litecoin due to the next halving that's happening in 167 days for Litecoin. So that's another thing, guys. <laughs> so the coin reward for Litecoin will be going down from 25 to 12.5 in 167 days, uh, ETA around August uh, 7th this year of 2019. So what's my plan, guys? Are you guys... I, I, I'm... I'm 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 mining some Ethereum right now. I'm not full on mining Ethereum with all my rigs. Um, I've mined Ethereum in the past, and it was a good coin to mine. And it's not like uh, it's it's a good it's a good. I feel like Ethereum is a good coin to hold. I, I'm not selling. I have I'm not a trader by any means. All I am is just a I'm just a simple home miner, and I just mine and hold, and I pay the electrical out of my pocket. So. To see that Ethereum will be hard forking and they're not doing a halving, it's it's basically just reducing the block reward. Uh, yeah, from three to two, so it's not like three to one point five. It's just three to two, so it's not a halving like Litecoin or Bitcoin. But I believe that we will see a jump in the price, which we have in the past in the in the past week or so. So. When the halving comes, think about one third of this price right now, $147 USD. So one third of 147, you add that on top of that, on top of the existing price. Maybe Ethereum will go up to around $200, $250. Who knows? I think the price will generally go up. But then after that, I wonder if the price will drop down because, you know, that's the crypto market and traders like to do that all the time. So. Now, another thing is the hash rate, the network hash rate. So right now we've seen, so in the past week or so, we've seen a bump in the Ethereum total network hash rate. So the lowest part, as we can see here, is 139 terahash. Uh, is this in terahash? Uh, oh, gigahash, okay. 139,000 gigahash. And right now it's at 152,931 gigahash. So take that as you will. I believe we will see this rise up the next five days for the hard fork coming in five days. And profits for, let's say, we're mining Ethereum with six RX 570s right now. And as you guys can see, it's like Ethereum Classic and Ethereum are the top dogs right now for mining uh, with AMD cards, as we can see. Uh, with NVIDIA cards, I don't think Ethereum is profitable in NVIDIA. 
Yeah, so dollar seventy four at point ten percent, point ten cents per kilowatt. So you'd be making about with six GTX ten sixties, for example, you'd only be making around forty four cents at ten cents per kilowatt, but a total of a dollar seventy four if you want to mine Ethereum directly. But in my opinion, I, I wouldn't follow any of this stuff. What to mine? I would follow why you would mine a, a coin like mine a coin that you believe in and uh, go for that don't go don't go for the profits if you're only going for the profits if you're going into bitcoin and selling it right away into fiat anyway but i don't think most of you are doing that most of you watching i certainly am not doing that i'm i'm keeping all of my coins i'm keeping all my profits right now i can say to you guys that i've been recently mining aeon a whole ton recently so I've been accumulating a bunch of Aeon just to hit a hit a certain level that I want to get so um, but in the next few days I think I'm gonna be putting going back and mining ethereum directly and just accumulating a little bit more of that so it's always nice to do that uh, in my opinion so not financial advice guys do what you want and <laughs> I'm just giving you the information that I think it kind of corresponds to what's happening that happened with Bitcoin and Litecoin that I feel like it will happen again. Uh, that will happen the same with Ethereum. So with the halvings that the price will potentially go up with Ethereum. So yeah, that's that's all I want to talk about, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think down below if you guys think that the similar fashion is going to happen with Ethereum. And that what happened to Bitcoin in 2012 and 2016, that the Bitcoin went under halving and the price, you know, went up due to the inflation. So let me know what you guys think. Please like and subscribe, all that good stuff, guys. I bring a video to you guys every day of something new and something that I'm interested in and something that will help you guys uh, give awareness and learn. Hopefully you guys learn something. Uh, from my, from my videos let me know if you guys are learning something but I like to keep up with stuff all the time but and give, give you guys all the news news that that affect miners basically <laughs> so yeah have a good one guys thanks for watching smash that like button I appreciate all of you and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow have a good one see ya